hey, how you doing? Good. What's okay. happening? What's that? You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I was just... How's your day? Oh, pretty good. How's your day? Oh, like, uh... Hungry as hell. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I haven't ate. I'm not trying to put my problems on you because you actually like food now. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I have my addiction, but I'm not getting high right now. I don't have no drugs. I don't have the diet fuel right now. I'm just really hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I'm sorry you're going through a rough time. I can give you a couple bucks if you want, if that you helps. You don't owe me anything. What's that? You don't owe me anything. Were you looking for a girl? Oh, I'm okay, actually. But, you know, if you want a couple bucks just to grab some food or something. Were you looking for a girl? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, you thank do you, that. though. You don't do that. Yeah. You don't I, do that? No, I appreciate it, though. Okay, good. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, sorry. it's okay. Thank that you. help you out? Five bucks? Yeah. 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 That's something yeah, to eat. I'm going to check on you, though. Make sure yeah. you're okay, though. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. No trouble, yeah. no drama. That's yeah, like yeah, that's good. I'm not like that. Even in my midst of my, you know, being homeless, I got to realize that as a decision I can change and that I made, that I got myself here because my addiction, you know? Yeah, you know, yeah. It wasn't all my fault. The addiction played a good part in it and the drugs. But it's time to come out. It's almost been a year. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And, yeah, and I'm not trying to keep a sack or anything there like that because I'm strong, okay? Yeah, that's so good. I'm not trying to, you know, put my story on you so I can manipulate you to make you feel like I'm weak and that you have to do all this stuff for me because that's not I can't remember, I can't remember my shoes okay yeah like yeah no I appreciate yeah, what that you, what you do say what's that what you do say what me you do say? oh I just kind of relaxed I work during the week and I have off on the weekend so, so I what, just, do you, what do you do it's not involving that camera <laughs> oh yeah yeah I use it sort of as a dash cam because like people have hit me Hit and then they up. run, you know? That's very intelligent. Yeah, yeah. it happened a couple times, so I kind yeah. of film when I'm driving, especially down this way, you know? Yeah, and then, like, you never know what you might see being filmed out here. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah it's kind of crazy out here. Like, like a miracle or anything. Is this, this is Kensington right here? Yeah, this is Kensington, and all the way down, from Frankfurt, all, all the way down. It's, it's like a, it's like a um, drug drug parade. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty wild, it's huh? Nothing but drug use, and it isn't out in the open. You've had some challenges with addiction? Yeah, yeah, yeah since I was younger because I, I started with weed, you know, thinking it was kind of cool because the people I was around, and I, I began to began, began to be around people that were doing other drugs, and I wasn't doing it at first, but, you know, curiosity, curiosity I opened my mind. At first, I was scared of stuff, and then once that fear went away, but that yeah. was protecting me, you know? And once that fear went away, I, I indulged in more different drugs. Yeah, you know, I got gotcha. you. Have you ever suffered from that? No. Luckily, no, thank but God, I know people, God. you know. Thank yeah. God, thank God, thank God. This is recording now. You're cool with that. Yeah, you don't mind, fine. do you? Beautiful. This, I love this Can name I record you? Is yes. that okay? Is yes. that all right? Yeah. What, what's your name? Jasmine Mary Moore, and I'm an angel and a prophet just like Jesus Christ. And this is my testimony of I'm out here in a struggle and I'm, I'm battling with my flesh and my spirit. Not between good and evil, but trying to do the right thing. We thank you, Jesus. This man is a king that's recording. I pray for his life, his prosperity. I pray that Norwich was successful. I pray that the enemy can never rule himself, dear Lord. I pray that they stay um, solid, dear Lord. And I pray for love, hope, and light. And for this man's journey to expand. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Were you raised? Uh, I was raised I'm from Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore? Yeah, and okay. I ended up I ended up coming from New York, making some, I scored it online, got into it with my girlfriend. It was just a, it was just a thing of, um, well, how should I say? It's a show. It's my mind. Hold on. Um, of, I can't, okay, it's not going to come to me right now. That's okay. But, um, just basically some, um, events that occurred back to back that stressed me out and I never got to, I never sat down and took a breather and talked to God how to, you know, manage all the stress that was coming on me so rapidly. You know, I wasn't making money in New York when I went to New York. I wasn't supposed to be tricking again anyway. And then I got into a fight with a girlfriend of mine almost 10 years plus. She put me out of the car. That's a physical fight. I don't like that. Right. You know, and then I, I was in New Jersey. So then I'm walking around trying to find a train. That's a lot of stress. A lot of people there. And then on top of that, I get to um, Philadelphia for a transfer. I missed the first bus because I'm trying to do um, just drugs that numb my pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah, Everything yeah. that went on. And not what kind of about things it. were you doing? I try to do, I try to do almost every drug you think about. Really? Crack, and it was not getting me high. This gorgeous man moves, but I jumped in a relationship with him instantly. We both fell in love with each other instantly. Love at first sight. And it was a lot of less though. We were high, you know, and a high influence. How old are you? I'm 33. Oh, okay. okay. How do you? Uh, 51. Awesome. You're amazing. Well, I feel thank so you. calm. I love your calm spirit. I try to be calm, you yes. know? Yes. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I try. That's the, beautiful the world's kind of like crazy. That. That's beautiful that you're nice and calm like that. That's not a weakness. That's oh, a strength. You. That's I, a strength. I appreciate people, that. People, um, you know, a lot of people uh, need that in yeah. the world to, to calm them down. You know, it, it, it's situations that there can be danger. And like God, how God is, he's always calm. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't, he doesn't um, tremble. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can tell you really don't tremble during the face of doing battle or fear or danger. That Thank you. you. That you're calm and you think. 
I appreciate that. You I try to time? stay calm, you know. Yeah. Where, where are you? Are you from Philly? Uh, I've been here like 30 years. Okay, cool. Where are you originally from? Uh, New England. New England? Yeah, New Hampshire. Oh my yeah. gosh. I can, I'm, 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 I know how to preach. I'm a preacher. I'm a fine preacher because I didn't get my um, license yet. But I'm, I want to be a preacher first. Um, then I'm um, a model, a professional model. Okay. And then an actress. And I'm not a thing. That's awesome. You know? So... Have you, been, have you gotten help and stuff in the past? Um, with what, addiction? Yeah. Yeah, God has a plan for me, but it's like every time I get to start his plan, I'm not doing it his way. I keep doing it his plan my way, and that's no plan because it's not his way. And so I'm basically trying to ignore. I'm ignoring my um, my path of greatness and avoid and running and run away from um, happiness. And I'm running towards all this danger. And the danger is getting stronger and stronger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and right, it's rising right. upon me. And I am in La La Land. But I'm not in La La Land because I know what I'm... My spirit keeps reminding me of who I am and calming me down when the danger is, like, about to kill me or anything like that. Yeah. But um, it's bouncing back and forth because I have to make a decision. So y'all gave us free will. I have to make a decision and stick with it. I can't say... God is good. God is great. I love you guys. It's preach him and praise his name and do all this stuff on the corner. And then knowing that he told me to go to um, the hospital. But I'm doing all that to, to make my flesh, to make my guilt feel good. I'm, pr- I'm praising him because I love him. First of all, no, because I love him unconditionally. Yes, it's, it's serious and it's real. But I'm doing a lot of that stuff and saying out loud to protect myself as well. But also because of my guilt of knowing that I can do the right thing. And I should be doing the right thing. What, what's it like down here in Kensington? It's beautiful. The people are beautiful yeah. here. Everybody I talk to I have, I have met, has been pretty cool. My best friends have been here. And I'm saying that my my past friends weren't good friends, but we had a lot of things that were negative with us. And me too, because I was a whole different person. My spirit was not like this at right, all. Right, I know you can right. feel it. It was not. It, it was always light because I've always been a child of God. But that light was dim because I was manipulated in my mind by the enemy. And my mind was cluttered. And I, I, my mind was to a place where I could barely... Let me say this. I could like I felt like my mind was going to be destroyed. Okay. Uh, What's it? Do you mind if I ask you like what? You, so you like do tricks? You ask me anything. You, you trick and stuff sometimes. You were saying. You huh? Know, you do tricks and stuff sometimes. Yes, I've been escorting. I've been um, prostitution. Prostitute. My first experience with um, prostitution was when I was a teenager, and I hooked up with one of my family friends, with one of the um, family friends. He was um, older. He was like um. In his 50s, and I was like a teenager. Wow. Sorry that you had to go through that. Yeah, that's um, Yeah, I, I mean, I, I really thought about it now, and it kind of made me sad for both of us because, yeah. you know, it just made me sad thinking about it, but I, I'm not a victim. You know, I've been on both ends of the spectrum of, uh, you know, I've been with someone that was you, uh, underage, and I didn't know the purpose. I know I'm not a child myself or anything like that. I don't have those desires. God made it clear, and I know, because I don't look at children in no type of sexual way. But um, I was in a relationship, and I didn't ask him his age. I assumed his age. Okay. Right? Because, um, and that's not an excuse. That's the, my real answer. And when he told me on his birthday how old he was, I was still wrong, because he told me how old he was. And I still was like, well, I'm in love. That was That was wrong. Because I didn't literally take advantage of him physically, but mentally, as me being older and my spirit being older, that's taking advantage of someone that's sure. younger. Yeah, no, that's, that's you know what I'm saying. And, and my brother was just telling me, not my biological brothers, but out here, telling his testimony of how he went through the same thing. He right. was having sex with women that were older than him. They were in their thirties, and he was a teenager. And he was thinking, you know, the world was telling him that he's the man because he's having sex with a woman that's older. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, so a lot right. of young guys are like, I'm the man. She old. I'm I'm banging her. You know what I'm saying? It comes like. Some type of clout or some type of trophy thing yeah. that is really going against this because it makes the adult is taking advantage of the child because they're not ready to have they're not to be having sex with adults. Yeah. Number one, number two, we all God wants us to have big love when we're married. So when, we want, when's the last time you used? If you don't mind my asking, I'm used, not judging. I anything. used um, about um, thirty minutes ago. Oh, you did. What, yeah, what'd yeah, you do? Crystal mask. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. And I thought about it. If I said all those drugs I did that I no longer do, if I was addicted to those drugs, I'd be doing all those drugs. What I did was, I, me, me as a flash, and me sinning and stuff like that, instead of me, I didn't think clear, instead of me embracing that I no longer do those drugs and God took it away, I went to reach and replace those drugs with another one. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I smoked, I, smoked, I, did almost every, I did almost every drug, stuff so like mushrooms and stuff. Okay. okay. But you, you get what I'm saying? Mushroom? No, but you get what I'm saying? If I was a yeah. drug, if I was addicted to those drugs, I'll be doing all of them. Right. I, I don't no longer do yeah. them. Oh, that's I don't no have desire to do them. Right. But I'm doing this one. But if I realize that God took them away, he took this away. I don't smoke cigarettes no more. That's I, good. This that's um good, yeah. this one and um, almost a month. When's the last time you got help for stuff? How? 
Yeah, like um, rehab. It was like I got out of the hospital. Um, that I was supposed to go to to begin to drink the holy water and to um get that healing and spiritual healing and begin to try to earn my wings spiritually. So I am an angel and a prophet like Jesus Christ. Um, I got out Monday, and ever since Monday I was up. I went to sleep. I like nodded off sleep like ten fifteen minutes. You but, seem very positive. Like you have a lot of positivity inside. Thank you. you. Yeah. yeah, I just I just have to let it shine because all my life I dim my light down to uh to so I could um reach for it. Um, worldly things and things that were harming me, but I didn't even realize it was taking such a toll. Would on you me. want to get help again soon? Or? Yes, I have yeah. to. I have to because I mean I know some people that that you know might be able to help you. Yeah, you I have a phone number. Or anything? I had a phone, but I gave it. I don't tell anything like that no more. Thank God. Yeah. But, um, I uh, I had a phone, but I knew that I'm not really to have a phone. You know what I'm saying? Because God is separating from the phone because. I used to be addicted to my phone, and it was a lot of negative energy between me and the phone. Okay. You know, so God um, told me that I needed to separate it from it. So he began to um, shift me to my new journey of my If spirit. you could tell people out there who are watching this, you know, like if anybody saw it or, you know, whatever, uh, I would what say would you just, tell them? I would say to, um, to the world that we just need to trust God more, and I'm starting with me, and know that he's the Alpha Omega creator from the rest of time. And not that he's just God, but he's just like us. That he that he only wants the best for us. And his plan is not to harm us or do any danger to us, but it's to uplift him. And we realize that if we follow his plan, it gives him more of a peace of mind. Right, that he's right. not just some type of object that we place above us. That he's in us, he's around us, he's everywhere. And he's not just a weapon of protection. That he wants to be in, he's involved in everything. He remembers every heartbeat we had. He remembers every time we coughed. He remembers every time, every little tear that we cried. He remembers how many times uh, sweats that we had literally dripping off our bodies. He heard it, he felt it, he seen it, he smelled it. He's, he's immaculate. And, and and I know that me loving myself is treating him better, and that's not putting him before me because he is. How do how do we fix what's going on down here in Kensington? What's your thoughts? We fix it with love and light. Yeah, that's good. And we fix it with all really trusting in God that starting with me, I'm going to take the initiative. Even if my girlfriend don't go, I'm going to go to rehab, and I'm no longer going to have those. I'm no longer going to let the the thoughts in my mind of defeat come in or me trying to take the easy way out because we realize that. Being out here is not the easy way out. Is Where are you usually? You right around here? You right around here? here, yeah. There's, I, I've, I've slid from um, up Frankfurt to down here. But the next time, you guys, when I leave from down here, I am no longer looking back. I have shipped my tooth from here. I have used the bathroom of myself out here. I have um, got away from being raped out here several times at gunpoint and untouched. Last night, a guy tried, um, tried to attempt to, the enemy tried to attempt to stay. Where do you yeah. stay? Do you go to a shelter? Do you have a place? Are I've been sleeping or? on a sidewalk. Really? I've been sleeping on a sidewalk, and I've somehow realized that I got comfortable with being in a mess and, and dirty and nasty. You know. Um, How long have you been down here? Uh, it'll be a year in June. Wow, wow. And where were you before? Baltimore? Baltimore. And I had a place. God had just bust me for a place to live. And I left everything there because I I was, I was you know, under the impression that I was just going to move up here with my ex-boyfriend, his beautiful self. <laughs> what, what's your name? Huh? Jasmine. What's my name? Yeah. Jasmine Amir Ramore. Jasmine. Okay. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, I'm too. sorry that you're going through so much. You know, I wish we could somehow come together as society and fix this stuff that's going on. We are. On. We are fixing it. You think so? Yeah. yeah is it just, getting better down here or worse? Yeah, it's or? getting better all over the world. That's the thing. It's getting better all over the world. We just got to get rid of the, um, the enemy, the trash. We just got to take the trash out. That's all. But how, how do we do it? By me standing up and and, and telling God that I'm ready to place place those things in the bag first and, and grab and grab the items from the Alpha Omega team through the blood of Jesus Christ that I grab those items from you guys and that I just be humble with myself and realize that yes I'm protected but protection is love that protection is not just something God does for the fun of it and he put all his effort into everything he does and it took him time just because he's God does not mean that it does not take him time just because he's God does not mean that he doesn't worry just because he knows everything does not mean that he doesn't care as much as we think we know that Bible is false that the enemy tries to deplete God to be some type of man that he's not why would God be jealous of anything created when he's the alpha meaning beginning he doesn't even think like that he created heaven if he wanted us to be some type of bow down to him he would have made us robots he gave us free will for a reason 
Jesus gave the blood. Let's thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because if it wasn't for Jesus, we know when we heard those voices, you guys, that it was the enemy. We know when we saw those shadows, you guys, it was the enemy. But let's focus on the light. Because we know when we began to pray on their knees, that they were silenced, that they ran away. Silence. I will pray for you, and I'll have other people pray for you. I hope you get to a better situation. Yes, brother. I know some people who could probably come down here and get you get you into rehab if that's you really help my spirit brother you, yeah. you help me brother so i go ahead you right here go ahead it's right here for a reason well i appreciate that. I, pr I, I know you're a director now <laughs> <laughs> you're a beautiful director well, and thank I, you and you know what i pray to god that i work with you professionally because well, i know you're gonna yeah. get it i know you're gonna get it i want you to shoot for that can you do that for me do what honey? can you can you look into that for me sure and, and can you can you can you know that it doesn't matter how old you are that you can achieve anything and I really want you to look into that. You have so much energy, positive uh, energy in you. It's yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't want you to use your age or anything that's going on with you as an excuse to not be great. And I have to say it's the same thing. You know, um, I know you're a director. Well, thank you. And you do it so kindly. And so and I know it's so it's so natural for you. Look how you just took charge. Well, I try to be, you know, peaceful and cool with everybody. And unless they give me a reason not to. Yes, be, but, just, but that camera and you are just like, oh, <laughs> I just feel the energy. Well, thanks. It's so natural. You just you just <laughs> took over the questions and everything was so laid back. I just yeah, no, complete. I think you have a lot of good messages. You made yeah. love to my spirit. Not that we're having sex, yeah. but we're transferring energy. No, I, appreciate I felt that. all the energy yeah. comes to me, brother. No, Thank I, you. I, I feel your energy too. You're a beautiful human. And so are you. You're yeah. incredible. Yeah, I appreciate that. You're incredible. And I really, I'm really, I'm really, I really think you're going to make it. Or have your foot in that door. Do you mind if I spread your message on YouTube? If I put you it out, spread it anywhere you want. Yeah, spread it anywhere you want. We want to spread love and light. I'm really amazed, you, you know, given the circumstances you shared yes. with me today, how positive you are. Yes. How your outlook is. Yes, so but, amazing. but but let me let me let me let me say the truth. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have remembered that just now. So I really? was down in the dumps. See, I've been really? my mind was being really negative. I'm be honest, you know. But you reminded me that of the woman that I want to be and the woman I can be and the woman that naturally comes to me. Not the, not the woman that I put on on Facebook or the persona or not being the real me. But somehow I, I just realized that me being out here, I was stripped naked from a lot of things that the real me did for real myself. But I kept feeding that, that, that energy of, of the enemy and Well, and I believe flash. that you have the strength to get past this and yes. to get through this. And yes, the, and I know I do. Cause you know, same way to I get just, away from the addiction that's, yes. that's preventing you from being You know what I you did? You know, you know I, I held on to, I need to hold on to God tighter and not to, not to uh, look at life the way I'm looking at it. I need to. No, I agree. I know? agree. You know? And I need to just, Yeah, I'm going to look for it. And I do know some people down here. I'm going to tell them where you're Bobby, at. You have done more they, than enough for me, okay? You, you, you have done more than enough for me. You have know? saved me, brother. You have done more than enough for me, okay? Well, I appreciate that. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. I mean, I'm, I, I'm great. Cause you I'm trying know. to be safe out here. Are people nice to you, most people? Yeah. yeah. The, world, the world, we have got so much better with loving each other. Don't you agree? Yeah, I agree. I the mean, world has, um, we're nice. Most nicer. people are good. Most people Yeah, are we're nice here. Everything that the news say, we know it's false. That the, that um the world, you know, somehow the enemy within us slithering in us, being intruders in us, and that energy, and right, them right. um trying to uh, deceive us, try to put certain messages through us by putting ideas in our mind of how the world is. So you know, the world uh tells stories um about how the world is and how we should be divided. You know, first it was transgender women versus biological women. Then it was like uh, race, it was race, not in no order, but it was race race versus each other. If you're Caucasian,